wpsites.net. Let's take a look at adding a responsive navigation menu to the Genesis Sample Child theme by Studio Press. I've written several tutorials on this. So I'll just go into the search box, search for responsive menu, and we'll go to this fourth one here, Genesis Mobile Responsive Nav Menu. And basically what this code's going to do is it's going to add a little icon which looks like a hamburger. When you click that uh, on mobile screens, it opens up the nav menu. Now, there's three different types of code we need to add to your child theme. There's some PHP code, which goes at the end of the child theme's functions file. There's some jQuery, so you'll need to create a new file named responsivemenu.js. Put the jQuery in there. And there's also some CSS which goes at the end of this child theme style sheet. So, so let's do that now. We'll add the PHP. And we'll just copy this PHP here. Open up our child themes functions file. And we'll put it at the end of the file. Save. Put some jQuery. Copy the jQuery using Text Wrangler for Mac. Let's just paste that in. We'll name this responsive menu.js. Save that to the desktop and we'll put that file in the JS folder. If you don't have a JS folder, you can create one or you can just leave it in the root directory of the child theme. Now, because I've put that in the JS folder, I need to change the path because in the code, it assumes the root directory. So I'll just change that path to the responsive menu jQuery. Okay, save those changes. Let's go down to the CSS. This is the final step. It includes the CSS and also the uh, CSS for media queries. So we'll just copy all of that. And we'll paste that at the end of the child theme style sheet. Now you can integrate this into your existing media queries, which you probably should do. So I'll leave that up to you. Let's just save those changes. Now let's just go to our test site, we'll reload the page, and there we have it there, there's the menu icon, what they call the hamburger um, style uh, responsive menu in Genesis. So it's as simple as that, it's just a matter of copying and pasting three different types of code into your child theme. Uh, there's more information available on wpsites.net. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Cheers.